Hello, welcome to our guide. Divisibility test and applications. Divisibility test of four and eight. Divisibility test for four. If the last two digits of a number are divided by four, the number is divided by four. We look. We need to look at the last two digits. So this is a very different from divisibility by two. The divisibility by two, we need to look at the last digit if it is even. But divisibility test for four, we need to look at the last two digits. If the number made from last two digits is divided by four, then the number is divided by four. And also we know four equal two times two. So one thing we at least we can predict if a given number is all the number, so you don't need to worry about because all the number is not divided by two, also cannot be divided by four, right? So only even number is possible. But even number we still need to look at the last two digits to see if it is divided by four. So last two digits, we can say many two digits is divided by four. Let's say if last two digits is zero four or four zero or four four or forty eight or eighty four something you know built with four and eight or even last two digits is twelve is uh, divided by four, sixteen, right, many, like zero, eight, many. As long as last two digits is divided by four, this number is divided by four. Let's look at the example. Twenty-four, if you're familiar with multiplication table, twenty-four is divided by four, right? Three o four, last two digits is with zero four is divided by four. And thirty four, even last digit is four, but thirty four, thirty four is not divided by four. How do you know? Because thirty two, we know thirty two is divided by four. So thirty four is not divided, right? Twenty eight is divided by four. Four times seven equals twenty eight. So forty eight is divided by four. Forty, of course, eighty six. Let's look at the six. Because as you know, 84 is divided by 4, so 86 is not, right? 16? Yes. So whatever how many digits, just look at the last two digits. So use this skill, let's do reducing fraction. 4 over eight, 28, both divided by 4, so we divide 4, divide 4, we got 1 over 7. 20 is divided by 4, but 41 is not divided by 4, because 40 is divided by 4, 41 is not. So in this case, four, 20 over 41 cannot be reducing anymore. So the answer is still 20 over 41, right? Can, because 20 is working with 4, but 41 is not. So you need to find both divided by 4, so you can do reducing. 16, 24, both divided by 4, so we divide the 4, divide 4. 16 divided by 4 equals 4, 24 divided by 4 equals 6. After this one, 4 over 6. We can say still can be reducing because four is even number, six even number, both divided by two even number. So we got a two thirds, right? So one twenty four, two twenty four. See, this is twenty four, is divided by four. This is twenty four, also divided by four. So both divided by four, 
we divided 4, divided 4. And then you can see 124 divided 4, 12 divided 4 is 3, 4 divided 4 is 131 on the top, bottom is 22 divided 4 is 5, 4 multiplied by 20, they have 2, 24, and they got the 56, right? So the answer is 31 over 56, because 31 is prime number, cannot be reduced anymore with 56. How to predict in remainder for 4? Same thing, you make last two digits as divided by 4. Like a 45, what is the number close to 45 but smaller than 45 is divided by 4? It's 44, right? So if 344, then divided by 4. Because 44 divided by 4. So now it's 5, the remainder is 1, right? Also, 440 is divided by 4, 440, right? But 41 is not divisible, so remainder is still 1. And 78, so you think about last two digits, 78. Is 78 divided by 4? If you feel like, oh, I need to do division, but which number close to 78 is divided by 4? Think about. This is uh, actually, you can see 76, right? This problem, you need a familiar with multiplication table. And the 76 divided by 4 is 19, right? So that's why 78 is not divided by 4, so the remainder is 2, right? 8 minus 6 is 2. 87 is not divided by 4, so the cross the number is, as you know, 84. 84 is divided by 4, so the remainder is 3, right? Next, look at the Dividibility test of by 8. If the last three digits of, the num of a number, we need to look at the last three digits of number are divided by 8, the number is divided by 8. So this is looks like a little bit complicated because you need, a, if a digit, only three digits, and so you need to use the long division, so it's not a shortcut, right? That's why I found another shortcut because first of all, divided by 8 also has to be even, right? If it's not even, you don't need to worry about. So you have to be even, then if it's even, you have the number. You divide the, the number by 2. Because eight equals because eight equals two multiplied four. We feel like a divisibility test for four is really easy. You just look at the last two digit. So that's why we first half the number by divided two. After divided by two, and then you can check if the result number is divided by four. Right? That's a little bit simple. Right? So let's look at the reducing fraction. But reducing fraction, I think, uh, before the reducing fraction, we can check the divisibility test to see which number is divided by 8, right? So 880, we can see 880, of course, divided by 8, right? 8, 8, you know, it divided by 8. This is okay. So first we look at which one you, you are sure. This is 880 or 008, also divided, these three also divided by 8. So this is okay. And the rest of them, you look like this one is 405, is all the number. So even it's not divided by 2. So of course it's not divided by 8, right? Not as all the number, say no. So the rest of the even number, we need to look for something like that. 240, see, last two digits, 240, 
it divided by 8, right? Because 3 multiplied by 8 is 24, right? So this is working. The other one, let's see, 483. Because as we know, 480 is divided divide by 8. Because 48 divided by 8 equals 6. 6 times 8 is 48. So 480 is divided by 8. But 483 is not because also is all the numbers is not divisible. And what about 4, 8, 840? 840 you need to be very be careful, right? Because 840, so 84 looks like 8, the 4 is not, but they have 40 together, right? 40 together. So if you do the alternate method, which I uh, recommended, is you first half this number. You use 7840 divided by 2. This you got. 78 divided by 2 is 39, 40 divided by 2 is 20. So after divided by 2, you look at the last two digits, 20. This one is divided by 4, right? So that's why it divided by 4. So 8 equal to multiply 4, so that's why this number is divided by 8. So this one, 798. 98, and then look at this one, you say, oh, I know, if the last three digits is 800, if last two digits is, three digits is 800, and 800 is divided by 8, but 798, too smaller, this is not divisible by 8, right? And this is 368. 368 to see if it is divisible, we can, if you are not sure, you just divide it by 2 first. This one divided by 2. So 21, 9368 divided by 2, you got 21 divided by 2 is 10, and you have 1 left over the 19 is 9, 18, 13 is 6, and 16 is 8 and 4, right? Because see, you divide 21 divided 2, you got the 10, and they have 1 left. 19 divided 2 is 9, you have 1 left. And 13, have 6, 1 left, 16, you got 8, this is 4. After this, you check this number. 84 is 84 divided by 4, yes. So that's why this number is divided by 8, right? So let's look at the reducing fraction. 24 is divided by 8. 32 is divided by 8. Both divide the 8. You got the 3 quarter. 16 divided by 8. Divisible. 48 divisible. So you got 16 divided by 8 equals 3, this is 3, or 2, sorry, 2, and 48 divided 8 is equals 6. So 2, 6, so both still even number, you can reduce one more step, you got one third, right, one third. Actually you can see 16 is one third of 48. 128, 800, so 800 is divided by 8, 128, it will divide by 8. But if you are not sure, you can, using the other method, you say, I first look at the 8, 0, uh, even number, I can divide by 2, right? So, 128 divided by 2 is 64, is 400, right? Then you can reduce it. You see 64, you're familiar with 64, it divided 8, because 8 multiplied 8 equals 64, divided 8. So you got 8 on the top, this is 50 on the bottom. But this is still even number, still can be reducing 4 over 25, right? 4 over 25. That's simplest 4.
Then we can look at the reducing uh, predicting remainder. Predicting remainder, same idea. We need to find the crossed number, which is divided by 8. For example, 485 divided by 8. As we know, 480, because 480 is divided by 8, right? 6 times 8, 48, right? 60. So the 5 has 5 more. So the remainder is 5, right? Remainder is 5. And this number, as we know, after the, the last three digits, 825. Then remember, if this is a 1824 divided by 24, 824 divided by 8, right? Indivisible, but this is one more, so the remainder is 1, right? And also this one. If you have 44,880, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, and this is divided divided by 8, 880 divided by 8. So 887 is 7 greater than 880, so that's why remainder is 7. The next one, let's see, 650 divided 8. What is remainder? What is the crossed number? The crossed number is 648, right? 648, 64, divisible, 8, divisible. So 648 is divided by 8, but 650 is 2 greater, 2 more than 648. That's why remainder is 2, right? Okay, this is presented by Wise Guy. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.